Welcome to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond, the show where a local foodie, that's me, attempts to parlay a passion for delicious eats into a useful video guide for other locals and tourists attempting to answer the age-old question, where should we eat in Myrtle Beach? Don't worry, I've got you covered. With me on this journey are my three progeny, that's them, who also love to experience new eating emporiums, raising them up right. We'll also be exploring fun, family-friendly activities and showing you the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, the lowdowns and hoedowns of where to shop, play, stop, and stay. If you're lucky, I might even cook for you. And if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, just know that once a week, I am completely wrecking my diet to bring you this content. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel guilty about that in any way, but I'm just saying you should subscribe. Hello friends and welcome to our table. So I had been meaning to take my children to a paint your own pottery studio for years. In my home state of New Hampshire, a paint your own pottery studio had just opened up down the street from us a couple of years before we moved away. And I always meant to get there and paint some pottery with my little ones, but as time and budget always seemed to be an issue, we just never made it. Meanwhile, my children have been growing and growing with no end in sight. And before I knew it, my second born child was turning nine. She had committed to having her ears pierced for her birthday and I had made her an appointment for early in the afternoon, but I needed something to do to fill the morning hours of her birthday celebration. Budding artist that she is, I knew she would love to do something creative and artistic for her birthday and so I got it in my head to search for a paint your own pottery studio in Myrtle Beach. Now it wasn't as easy to find as I thought it would be. I couldn't seem to access the first link. Another indicated it was closed and this one, while it looks great, actually did not show up on the day that I was searching. But it's okay because I found All Fired Up Studio in Polly's Island, which was just as close to home as any of the other spots in Myrtle Beach. And going to Polly's Island, we also get to stop at Fresh Market. So that's a win in my book. I used the GPS to help me turn on the first try because the roads can be very busy and difficult to turn around on. Luckily, we were able to find it on the first try and also found some easily accessible parking. I really love this area. This private little enclave of businesses and shops was like its very own little downtown area. Quiet, but with lots to explore. The shop inside was adorable with glorious, soaring ceilings and a wonderful vibe only an art studio can possess. The owner was perfectly pleasant and very welcoming and even though she was busy painting her own projects while we were there, she regularly paused to retrieve us new colors and new brushes as needed. I was pumped that not only did my girls find special pieces to paint that fit their individual personalities, but even my boy got in on the painting and decided to go for a beautiful mug. It has been a while since I've been able to lure him off the computer and into some kind of art project like he used to enjoy as a toddler and a preschooler, so my heart was full and glad to see them all having fun with something tactile and creative. Once we had finished applying our colors, we signed our pieces, left them in capable hands, and returned one week later to pick up our glazed, kiln-fired pieces. I think their reactions speak for themselves. getting nervous. Let's put it back down now. It's two pieces. It's scaring me. Do you love it? Yes. yes. Okay. All Fired Up Studio is located at 47 Tagula Way in Polly's Island. You can find more information on their hours and art to go kits online at allfiredupstudios.com. 